this is Miss Gabby. Welcome to Storytime at the Calusa Library. There are so many things to do during the summer, so many fun things, and one of them is camping. So today we're going to be reading Grow Grateful by Sage Foster Lasser and John Lasser. Ooh, I wonder what they're gonna do on their camping trip. Roast some marshmallows, sleep under the stars. Let's get started. I'm Kiko. I'm a happy camper. I can grow grateful too. Let me show you how. My class goes on lots of field trips. Miss Cooper has taken us to the art museum, the state capitol, and even to a bakery, but never camping. I was excited. I counted the days until we left. Do you want me to, do you want to know something else? Part of me was nervous about camping too. Oh, she's nervous about going camping. But that's pretty natural. It's ner it can be nerve-wracking to do things uh for the first time or away from uh like parents and whatnot. Oh, that's tough. When I asked my dad what he was bringing for us to eat, he told me that he and my mom weren't going. Why not? Well, this trip is for you, Jasmine, and all your classmates and Miss Cooper. Besides, someone has to look out for Chico. Okay, her parents aren't going because she's going with her class. Ooh. My dad bent down, scooped me up, and tossed me high in the air as I squealed. Not so high! I was thankful that someone would be there to keep Chico company. Oh, look at what a cute dog! Good dog Chico! My brother Nick told me about the trip from when he was in Miss Cooper's class. It was so much fun! We had a campfire and ate marshmallows. We climbed to the top of Cactus Ridge. Cactus Ridge? Is it high? Is it steep? Very high. Very steep. I was happy Jasmine would be there. She doesn't like heights either. Oh, yeah, heights can be really scary. Oh, they have to climb on top of Cactus Ridge. Ooh. When we got to the camping site, I peeked into my backpack filled with my water bottle and snacks my dad packed for me. Yummy. My dad knows what I like and packed the most delicious snacks, green grapes and very berry granola, and some chocolate chip cookies. I shared my snacks with Jasmine. Oh, how nice. It's so nice that her dad packed her her favorite snacks. Mmm, green grapes, granola, cookies, delicious. And wow, it's so cool that they're camping in the desert. Look at all the cacti. How fun. All the kids were divided into two groups, the bluebirds and the sparrows. Jasmine was a bluebird and I was a sparrow. The bluebirds would hike up the east side of Cactus Ridge and the sparrows would climb the west side. I got nervous again, imagining climbing all that way without Jasmine. But I noticed Camille. She looks scared too. It's okay, Camille, I told her. I don't like heights either, so we can stick together. Helping Camille helped me feel better too. My gratitude was growing. Oh, it's too bad that she's nervous, but it's nice that she found a friend. And together, both of them are nervous, but they can help each other out. They can help each other be less nervous. Um, when they climb up Cactus Ridge. That's so nice. We walked in hand in hand, step by step. At one point, I tried to touch the soft flower petal of a prickly pear and felt a sharp pain in my finger. Miss Cooper removed the cactus spine from my finger with her tweezers. I was relieved that she was there to help me. Oh, that's so nice of her to help her remove the spine from her finger. Yeah, those hurt, ooh. When we finally reached the top, I couldn't believe how beautiful the view was. I was proud that Camille and I had helped each other. Soon after we reached the top, I saw Jasmine's head pop out from the other side of the rock. I waved excitedly to her. Wow, good job, they all made it. Jasmine came in from uh, the east 
and Kiko and Camille came in from the west. That's awesome! As the sun began to set, we pitched our tents. After we ate dinner, we built a fire to sit around. As we were roasting our marshmallows, Miss Cooper said, let's each go around and say what we're most grateful for tonight. Wow, what a nice activity. It's always good to remember what we're grateful for. And wow, that looks like so much fun, roasting marshmallows in the desert. Fun. Moza asked, what does grateful mean? Being grateful is feeling gratitude. Gratitude is a warm feeling in your heart or a thought in your head about someone or something that, that they did that you appreciate. It's not just saying thank you to be polite. It's a true understanding and appreciation of what someone did for you. For example, I'm grateful for the delicious soup you all worked hard to make tonight. I can taste the care and thoughtfulness you put into it. I felt proud and happy that Miss Cooper had noticed thinking about what I had contributed to the soup. Aww, that's so nice. She's grateful for the soup that all of them uh, put a lot of hard work into and she noticed it. She said thank you and she said she was grateful. Everyone was grateful for different things. Emma for the colorful sunset over the mountain. Margaret for the care package her parents sent for for us. Mosea for the great, for the gorgeous hawk that had circled over his head. Jasmine for the toasted marshmallows. Camille for a friend to keep her company along the steep ridge. Hey, and that friend is Kiko. Camille is grateful for Kiko. And all of her classmates are grateful for different things. That's so nice. That night as I fell asleep, I thought about my parents and how nice it was that they sent me on this trip. I thought about Camille and Jasmine and Miss Cooper, the super steep ridge, the beautiful view, and the warm campfire. I felt happy in my heart, just like Miss Cooper said. I had gratitude. Oh, she thought about all the things she was grateful before she went to bed. That's a really nice practice to do. When I got home, I was so happy to see Chico and my family. I told them all about the trip and how grateful I was for the experience. Dad was so happy to see me that he whisked me up into the air above his head. But this time I wasn't so scared. How do you go how do you grow grateful? Oh, that's a good question. How do you grow grateful? I guess it's just thinking about all the things that you're grateful for and getting into the habit of doing that every day. Think a bit thinking about all the things you're thankful for or you're grateful for, all the people you're grateful for, and showing your appreciation for them. Well, that's the end of our story. I'm so glad that Kiko had a fun time at her camping trip and that she made a new friend and that she thought about all of the things that she was grateful for. Well, make sure to look at the questions and the activities that we've published along with the book. Until next time.